Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com, and I'm going to review Hootsuite today. Um, social, it's a social media management tool that you've probably heard of. There are also other competitors like Buffer um, and some other different posters out there and everything. But um, Hootsuite has its own unique features, and I want to go over those and help you make a better decision on whether it's the best social media tool for you. Um, first I'm going to talk about social media accounts and the thing that really can separate them from their competitors is you can probably add more social media accounts on Hootsuite than any other one. Now ones like Buffer you can add the Essentials, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus pages, uh, Twitter and things like that but on Hootsuite you can actually add those plus YouTube plus Tumblr plus um, Foursquare and some of these other ones that some people might not know a lot about or might not use but still have really big user bases so you might look at that when it comes to whether you should try Hootsuite or a competitor as far as pricing goes um, they have a free version of this obviously that you can try out for some limited features but they also have a pro version that's ten dollars a month which is you know competitive competitively priced they also have um, apps that, sh that are add-ons that are like two ninety nine if you want to add like um, some more advanced apps on there for other social media sites but the main plan is ten dollars a month as far as anything above that if you have a, a bigger company you actually have to contact them and get a quote so you know other competitors you might notice are a little more forthcoming about their prices on higher level packages but um, that's just the way Hootsuite does it uh, as far as dashboard usability, it has a great dashboard that allows you to better organize your feeds. You can add messages all in one place. You can keep up with your um, constantly updating social feeds in one place. And it's a really great way to put that together. I really love that with Hootsuite. Um, even if you don't like their posting, you could still use that just by itself because it's just a really cool feature to have. Um, you can go through and add different feeds and things like that. But as far as da the dashboard goes, I think it has the best dashboard that you can pretty much find out there. Um, as far as apps, they do have mobile apps. Um, they have uh, obviously Apple and Android apps for your phone if you want to download that get some work done on the on the go um, they do have extensions as well they have one called Hootlet that allows you to share a page straight from your um, Google Chrome or Firefox bar so that you don't have to worry about going and logging into Hootsuite every time and going to the website and copying and pasting links and things like that it makes it a lot easier but they don't have like a sharing app like Buffer does where you get shares on your blog post directly allowing people to share it on multiple sites and schedule it without having to go through and do it manually and you know the easier you make it for your traffic to do things like that the more shares you're gonna get of your articles so that's one thing they don't have that Buffer and um, as one of their biggest competitors has but other than that they do have a good uh, couple of apps that you can get as far as feeds go they do a great job they probably are second to none and they allow you to import RSS feeds from your favorite websites now to where you can share your favorite articles from your favorite places that you tend to go to the most a lot faster automatically and uh, have it all in one place so even if you want to like curate content and you don't want to just publish your own all the time 
Hootsuite has you covered with RSS feeds. And they also, of course, like I showed you before, you have your different feeds as far as um, things on here where you can check out your different uh, streams and your news feeds of your different social profiles all at once. As far as posting goes, the only problem I have with them, of course they make it easy to schedule and to share automatically and import RSS, things like that to use the bookmarklet so that you don't have to uh, leave the site to share it with Hootsuite. Um, all that's great, but the problem I have with them is it shows when you use Hootsuite. When you actually share something using their service, it actually comes up showing via Hootsuite at the bottom. As you can see this arrow here, I pointed it out for you. Someone did it and this is what it looks like. It's at the bottom of a Facebook post. It does this on the bottom of pretty much all your social media posts when you use Hootsuite. That obviously gets them more customers and is better branding but it kind of gets under the skin of a lot of us social media users because really they might have the perfect tool if they didn't do that. But we don't want people to know if we're posting live or we're, or we're just scheduling it. You know. So this tells everybody, hey, they sh they're just scheduling it. They're probably not even on this site right now. And I just, me personally, I don't like that. Okay, as far as other features, they have a lot of the other common features. They have analytics that go pretty in-depth of, you know, what posts are working, what's not, and give you the numbers. Uh, automatic link shortening you sh using owl.ly um, makes the link shorter so you don't take up a bunch of room with real long uh, link snippets and custom link branding is one thing I don't think the other competitors have is you can actually add your own logo for your site and things like that to your links when you share with Hootsuite and you can also add bulk message uploaders I know you can do that with like social oomph and um, some of them but as far as buffer I'm not sure you can do that so but message upload is great if you can kind of do it all at once without having to go through and do one at a time so as far as the verdict goes I give it four stars I'd like to give it five stars but you know the problem is that there's a few things that they could have had that their competitors have that you know they could probably um, figure out pretty easily and just get rid of or add to their service. I wish they would have something where you could share their um, share content directly on a blog to where people wouldn't have to share it on Pinterest, share it on Hootsuite, or not Hootsuite, but Twitter, share it on Facebook all one at a time. You know, Buffer does that, Hootsuite doesn't. Um, they don't have anything like that, but they do a great job of pretty much everything else. And of course, the part where they market their brand all over your posts kind of bothers me too. I'm not a big fan of that. And I know a lot of others aren't fans of that either. But other than that, they're at least a four star um, service. I would definitely recommend them to pretty much anybody. I personally like using Buffer and Hootsuite kind of together. But, um, or you might use Social Oomph and Hootsuite together. I just like the way Hootsuite um, can organize your dashboards and your messages from social media in one place. So even if you don't like to use them for posting, um, you can use them for that. So if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you made a more educated decision on what to do about Hootsuite or whether you should try it, please like the video and subscribe. Um, I'm going to have a lot more reviews and comparisons and things like that to where you can actually make better decisions on your marketing tools, your social media tools, your blogging tools, and all kinds of different things like that um, to help you build a better business. Don't forget to leave a comment if you think there's a service that you want to mention that is better than Hootsuite or just let us know what your uh, experiences are with Hootsuite. Um, other than that, don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com if you want more in-depth information, a little more in-depth training, some 
resources and things like that to use to help yourself become a better entrepreneur and build a stronger business. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day.